Hello everybody, this is Ozan and David. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, in case you're new, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Iguayopna and Be Spirit TV. Visit my website, iguayopna.com and biblicalsexualpurity.com. I want to share with us the, what God revealed to me and some of the experiences I've had in ministry as it concerns abortion. Uh, a lot of, a lot of laws have been have been passed in years on born babies even uh, even at the point of their birth children are no longer safe uh, people are coming together not to plan on how to defeat the enemy to defeat isis to deceive to defeat the uh, suicide bombers this time around what they're planning against is unborn defenseless children it is a shame. Uh, I had a revelation recently, and in a dream, it was a dream. I had a dream, and someone was saying, oh, we wanted to abort the pregnancy, but we discovered that it has taken some months. The baby's body is already getting formed. So if we abort the baby now, we will be committing sin. But uh, another person said, oh, if you had done it maybe a few weeks after a uh, few weeks or few months after uh, you notice that you were actually pregnant then uh, it will just be on a liquid a baby had not been formed the body had not been formed so then it will not be a sin so i was kind of educating them in the dream and i was telling them that no immediately after fertilization a baby a soul is released by God that even though the body is not yet uh, well formed, uh, a soul is has been released by God. So even if it's a few days after uh, uh, when fertilization, a few days after fertilization takes place in the mother's womb, a soul had been formed and that whatsoever thing that happens to that baby at that moment to the pregnancy, whether it has a well uh, uh, matured, formed bodies, whether it has body parts or not, whatsoever thing that happens to that pregnancy, the soul goes back to God because uh, it is not just about the body, but the human being is also it. The human being has a spiritual part too. We know that. The, the body, a, a human being, every human being as a tripartite being, we have the body, we have the spirit, and we have the soul. So I was trying to explain to them that it, it is not only when the body has been formed that it becomes a sin, that even if it is one month, even when the pregnancy, is, the fetus is just still watery, it is still a sin. This was just a few days ago, the dream that I had. And I know that the Lord is trying to pass a message through me, through this dream, to people that uh, we should stop committing murder. A lot of children, millions of children are being murdered every day. These are innocent children. And I remember someone who had a revelation, who had a uh, near-death experience. The person said he was taken to heaven. I think... Uh, the seven Colombian youths, the seven or eight Colombian youths that had this experience, one of them said that there are millions of children in heaven, and he was asking, oh, what are this? Why so many children? And the angel explained to him that these children were aborted. They never had the opportunity to live life because somebody cut short their lives. I also had a uh, an experience I want to also quickly ship in. I, uh, some years ago, a Christian lady met me and uh, told me that she had a dream. In a dream, she was, she went to the toilet instead of excreting uh, her waste through the normal process, through the anus, she was vomiting excreta. And she said she vomited excreta so much that it was the excreta was huge. And she woke up from the dream and said, what kind of uh, strange dream is this? I, I went to the toilet instead of me to excrete through the normal process and vomiting the excreta. What happened? So she told me the dream. I told her, well, this dream except God himself interprets this dream. 
I, I, I don't think any human being can interpret this dream. So I prayed about it, and God actually revealed what the meaning of the dream uh, is to me. And um, this to be about 10 years ago, about 10 years ago. So God told me that this lady had committed a lot of abortions and that uh, the Esquida is supposed to be children. She has taken in something. She's supposed to pass it through the normal process, but she's not doing that. Instead, she's vomiting it. You know, when you when you vomit food, the food that's supposed to digest and pass through the normal process, through the alimentary canal and pass out through the anus, uh, that is the creation of God. But when you vomit it, it means that you are interrupting a process. Uh, God explained to me that this lady had committed a lot of abortions, but she was uh, highly placed in the church, so I never thought of anything like that. So I met her and I told her, this is what the Lord revealed to me. And she actually, she was so sorrowful about it. And she actually told me that, yes, she had committed a lot of abortions. Well, I'm only saying this. You don't know the person. I'm saying this because people need to learn from this. People need to learn from this. It's not that I am exposing somebody's secret. Um... You don't know the person. It's just me and that lady and God that knows that this kind of thing actually happened. But I have to make it public because a lot of Christians have been carried away to believe that even when you're pregnant, you can kill the baby. Even with the late term, uh, uh, late term abortion law that has been that is being passed in different uh, states today. Thank God for some of the states that reject this. Uh, they'll believe that you can kill a baby even at the point of giving birth to the baby. It's a pain in my heart. It's a pain in my heart like that a lot of children are being murdered yearly. Then I also had uh, another experience. I was praying for uh, a woman came to me. This one is just a few days ago. A woman came to me and told me, please help me pray for my daughter. She's not married. I just want God to do something this year so that she can get married. Uh, she's getting old. So I, I, I held my hands. I held our hands and we were praying together uh, in in agreement, agreement prayer. As we were praying, the Lord opened my eyes and the Lord was saying, I hate it when People are bought babies, especially singles. When the Lord said, especially singles, uh, where my mind ran to was those people don't even supposed to have access to sex because sex is for marriage and it's for marriage alone. It's for those who are married. If you're having it outside marriage, it is a sin. It doesn't matter what people call it. It is a sin and that is what it remains on earth and even in heaven and we will be judged by our deeds if we fail to repent and we'll end up in the place that we'll never uh, plan to go intentionally. So God said, I heard it when people abort children, especially single. That means she is not even married and she's aborting children. The Lord explained to me that this lady they are praying for has aborted a lot of pregnancies. But the mom is moving about going from place to place. What I want to say is that if you are a Christian, please stay away from abortion. It is a sin. It is a sin against God. God told Jeremiah that before I formed you, even while you were in your mother's womb, I knew you and I've already ordained you as a prophet. So if God knows the names of people, we know about Samson that before Samson was born, uh, God revealed to the mother and also to the father Manoah that a child will be born. Uh, I, I have preached some time ago and I said, if Jesus was to come this same time in this generation, if care is not taken, Mary we are born in pregnancy. Just imagine the kind of mess we we'll find ourselves today. Please stay away from abortion. The Lord is sending a lot of people to this world and people are just aborting them. A lot of saviors have been aborted. No soul comes into this world without the knowledge of God. God sends his people into this world. Let's not destroy humanity. I'm not against people um, spacing their best through natural means. I'm not against that. But when you know you are pregnant, why kill? Why kill a baby? 
share this video thank you for watching subscribe to my youtube channels hosanna ee david and igwai opener god bless you bye bye